<sighs> Hi, it's Kim and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's a no makeup day. It's been really, really hot. It's been raining all day and uh, it's just been one of those days, you know, so no makeup. But, oh, I have, oh, you have that? I have yours. We are, uh, <laughs> we uh, started a new habit. Uh, <laughs> we're still along with our other bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your chair over here. And then we'll, let me, let me get the man in there too. There we go. Um, we started smoking cigars, so this is my cigar case. I bought cigars from, I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to look it up and put it in the notes for you, but they had really good prices because cigars can get kind of pricey. Um, I actually prefer like the, the honey ones because, I don't know, they're just kind of nice. Um, but this one I have is Famous Private Selection. Oh, I think it's the company I bought cigars from is Famous Smoke. Uh, but I don't even remember how we got into this. Oh, it was on the, on the when we went on our cruise, uh, we were trying to figure out what to buy for our sons-in-law couldn't figure it out and then we saw cigars that's it okay you know we're in the Caribbean let's get some cigars and so we did and then we got one for him I never thought about smoking a cigar but then I kind of started doing some research on cigar smoking and found out a lot of women actually smoke cigars so I tried it and I have to say, I like it. Uh, so this this one is nice. This is going to be a more mild cigar. It smells really good. And I got this little nippy thing. The ends are. So cigars are, in case you don't know, uh, tobacco wrapped in tobacco. So you have to cut the end off. Let's see if I can do this. Give it a little circumcision here. There we go. That's better. Woohoo! And you circumcise your cigar, and then you're good to go. You want to? You want a little circumcision? I've had enough of those. <laughs> One is enough. One, is enough. <laughs> One and done. I can't remember that. <laughs> well, that, that's probably good. I don't think I did a very good job cutting that one, but oh well, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. This is the first night it's been cool outside in I don't know how long. Oh no, that's a big one. Yeah, I'm not getting it all the way lit. We got to get some of those. I ordered a, a cigar lighter on Amazon, and of course it doesn't work. And then I tried to get um, get them to either take it back or fix it or whatever, you know, but of course not. You know, and oh, just send it back and we'll refund you. But I'd already put propane in it. So it's not propane. What is it? Is it propane that you put in it? Whatever the stuff is for that. What? For that lighter that I bought that doesn't oh. work. Uh not propane in it. <coughs> Come on. 
I'll be right back. I don't want to light my hair on fire. Come on. Thank you. But anyway. Ah. So, I thought that for today's video, we'd come out and have a cigar and just talk. These people are loud out here. So, I hate what's going on right now. I hate, which side is the camera lens? Oh, right there. <laughs> I want to look at you guys, not me. Um, I hate what's going on in this country. Uh, it's really scary. Um, you know, I remember when I was a kid, My grandparents would watch TV and watch the news and they'd be all like, you know, oh, the world's falling apart. But now, you know, it, it, it actually is. And it's pretty freaking scary. Yeah. You know, when they got, they're telling boys that they can be girls and telling girls that they can be boys just simply because you will it that way, right? <laughs> and then they mutilate their bodies. And you're just somebody with a mutilated body. You didn't really change anything. Nothing wrong with being gay. If you're gay, you're gay. I'm not gay, but... You know, if they are, that's their business. I'm not going to say anything. The whole drag queen stuff. And I saw something on the news today where they're protesting in California to, um, to keep their rights, to not have to subject their children to basically pornograph, uh, pornographic stuff in school, right? Little children don't need to learn about uh, transgender, gay sex, any sex. They don't need to learn about that. Especially don't need to learn about it in school. But, uh, you know, if you say you don't want your child to learn that stuff, then you're a bigot. You know. No matter what we do, we're we're white supremacists, we're racists, we're, we got our white privilege. I told, I told John he should get a white privilege card and carry it around. Next time somebody asks him for ID, just whip out his white privilege card. <laughs> yeah. And this whole thing about indicting Trump, Oh, Trump's a criminal. We got him now. <sighs> Give me a break. The man's not a criminal. He likes to brag. He likes to boast. You know what? Don't we all? Who's going to be your best cheerleader if not you? I don't fault the man for that. He made bazillions of dollars. And he actually helps people with that. With the money he's made you think about the people in hawaii oh mr president um what do you think what's your comment on on the rising death toll in maui no comment meanwhile he's getting more money for ukraine which is a losing proposition for us this is our tax money 
going to Ukraine. But in the meantime, how much do they give to the people of Maui? $700 a family. That's it. It's been a long time since I've been to Hawaii, but it's expensive there. $700 ain't going very far. Especially when you've lost everything. We had a house burned down. We had a house burned down. We almost lost our children, but we didn't. We almost lost my mother, but we didn't. I don't know what it's like to be those people in Maui who have lost loved ones in a raging inferno. Um, I don't know what it's like to not know where your loved one is, not know, you know, whether they incinerated or whether they went somewhere else and you might not ever know. And that that's horrible in itself. But for Biden to say, oh, well, Jill and I, we we understand what you what you're going through, because I almost lost my 67 Corvette. <laughs> And he's supposed to be Mr. Empathetic. That's not empathy. You know, what, being there at the dignified transfer of the people that he caused to die. Well, no, and check in your watch. They didn't even give you fire. The fire department couldn't put those fires out. They couldn't get any water. I was on something else, but yeah. the But that, you know, the... We had left Maui, but that's okay. We'll revisit Maui. Yeah, you're right. Because the, the Democratic dude who who was over the water stuff, well, we think water is sacred. Well, yeah, but isn't human life sacred too? You can hold water sacred, but even if you hold water sacred, one of its sacred duties is to put out fire to protect human life. Yeah? I mean, that's pretty sacred in my book. Yeah, for sure. Couldn't they just use some salt water from the oceans right there? I mean, I don't know. They, they, they don't they do so, uh, seawater desalinization? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the, 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 the end all be all is people died because yeah. they didn't act. I would rather run out of water and have to get water flown in somehow or shipped in or whatever than not give the water to the firefighters and watch people incinerate. The whole town of Lahaina is gone. You know, and they give... The, my, the open borders. Oh, our borders are under control. The hell they are. They are not under control. They're not under control. We're here in Tennessee. We are escapees from Southern California. And I love Southern California. And I'd go back in a heartbeat if it wasn't so bat crap crazy there. I lived there my whole life. Well, we went to Washington for a while. He's originally from Washington. I'm from California. And it's a, it's a, it's a sin what they've done to that state. It's a beautiful state with beautiful weather. And it used to be beautiful people. And now it's, it's a, it's a, it's a shithole. It's gone to hell. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm frustrated. They let these people in over the border who don't want to be Americans. They don't want to be Americans. They don't like Americans. They don't like America. They want our money. They want us to pay for them. They want to turn our country into what they have. And you can tell, just go to Los Angeles. Los Angeles used to be a beautiful city, and now it's a shithole. It's 
except for where the wealthy people live behind gates with armed guards. But you can't have a gun. I mean, it's just, it's all kinds of crazy right now. And I really feel like we're on a knife's edge. I feel, you, you feel the hate from some people. You feel it. Just, just being around, going through the store, you feel hate from certain people. Just for being you. I get so sick of hearing how, well, you have white privilege. I ain't got no privilege. I was born to very uncaring people who never gave a crap about me. I was extremely poor. And everything that I am and everything that I have, I worked my ass off for. Nobody handed me anything. That one good? Huh? That cigar good? You smoked the crap out of that. That was a brand new one, wasn't it? Pretty close. I mean, I smoked some of it yesterday. Oh. One of these big cigars. I don't know about real cigar smokers. I can't smoke a whole one. I'd probably die. I, I can smoke on one of these for like three days. When we first started smoking, they lasted almost a week. Yeah. <laughs> you take a couple puffs. We really them. enjoy it. Yeah, you don't inhale cigar smoke. No. They smell good. They don't, like, you know, I know when I was a kid, um, I had an uncle that smoked and oh, he stunk. But those were cheap cigars. Uh, if you smoke cheap cigars, they, yeah, they stink. And they're not, they're not, these are not stinky cigars. They actually smell quite nice. But I'm all in for Trump, Trump 2024. I feel like DeSantis could have been president if he would have waited. But now I feel like he, he's, he's toast. Um, you know, they act like loyalty is not an important thing. Uh, it is. It is to regular people. You want your friends to be loyal to you. You want your family to be loyal to you. You want your politicians to be loyal to you. You know, prices are going sky high. I make good money, but my money is getting less and less and less all the time because prices for everything are sky high. So my money doesn't go near as far. And it's, it's, it's getting scary. They don't want us to own anything. They don't want us. They, and now they're talking about COVID lockdowns again. <laughs> oh, COVID's coming. You better get your booster. You better wear a mask. I see people in the store wearing a mask. It's like, what the hell? What is wrong with you? You love that COVID thing coming around again. Just in time. Just in time, right? Do, do they honestly think we're that stupid? I mean, it's just in time for the new election cycle, right? You know, tell me this. T tell me this. If things were so bad the last time, because I know I talked to a lot of people say, oh, the hospitals are overrun. But if they were overrun, why weren't there pictures of dead bodies stacked up? And how in the hell did nurses everywhere, nurses, doctors, hospital workers of all stripes, how did they have time to choreograph and execute and film dance routines? If you're working your ass off 
treating people. And when, when you have a minute off from doing that, you're not going to do a dance video. That doesn't make any sense at all. You wouldn't even be in the frame of mind if you're watching people die left and right. How could you do that? You would be very callous. But yet that's what happened. And we were, oh, they're heroes. We love them. They're heroes. They're sacrificing. They're, you know. I'm sorry. I've had COVID twice. A uh, girl I work with just now had it for the third time. Um, tell me lockdown. I'm going to tell you no. It's not right. It's not right what they're doing. They think we're stupid. And they think we're sheep. Don't be sheep. I'm glad we had this chance to talk. Uh, if you like what I'm talking about, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you think we're on the verge of civil war? Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Um, and the other thing I want to tell you is I am into ASMR now. I've actually uh, discovered it a while back and it's been helping me uh, with some of my stress. And I was a, a massage therapist for a long time and I was very good at it. I have a spa room set up in my house. I started an ASMR channel. I'm going to put the link down below. I'll link a video uh, here. And uh, do me a favor and check it out. If you like ASMR, uh, please go check out my channel. It's uh, ASMR with love from Kim. And uh, I just started it, so only a few videos up there now. But I'd appreciate it if you could take a look. And from John and I, have a good night, everybody.